Hi boys and girls, Miss Hannah here. Today we are going to work on S blends. Does anyone remember the snake in the shape of an S that Miss Amy would use when we practice at school? I thought it would be fun if we could make one for you to have at home. So remember, when we say our S sounds, we would like to trace our snake. S helps remind us to get that S sound out nice and loud and clear. So let's start and try to make one. So I attached a PDF, a little template that parents, you can use. Um, you can either print it and it you can cut out the different parts of the snake or right now I'm just gonna draw mine because I don't need you to print anything. You really just need a marker and a piece of paper to draw a snake. But if you would like, you could cut out the different pieces and you could color and glue them to the page too. So I'm just gonna draw mine. So boys and girls, I'd like you to pause the video and go get your tools. So if you're gonna cut your snake out, and go get scissors and glue and paper. Or if you're just gonna draw like me, you need a piece of paper. I picked green, but it can be any color. And a marker or a crayon. So pause me while you go get your materials ready, all right? Okay, welcome back now that you have your materials. So first we wanna start with the snake's body. And since we are working on our S, sound, I want to make my snake in the shape of an S. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it and then I'll show you. So either draw your S or you can cut it out. And you can also look at the paper that I attached to the choice board for S blends this week if you need help having something to trace for the S. So I am making my S. I'm not the best drawer, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Here's my body of the snake. It is an S. It might be backwards on the camera, but it is an S. <laughs> okay, so next I want to draw the head of the snake. So it can be a circle at the top, or you can just have the disc part of your S you can pretend that's the head too. You don't want to draw a separate part. So I'm just going to pretend that that is my head at the very top. And I'm going to add two eyes. So I'm going to draw my eyes. Okay, let me see your eyes. See, there are my two eyes. Hmm, what else do I need to add to my snake? I think I need to, to add its tongue. So now I wanna add its tongue, so I need a different color marker. I think I'm gonna make mine red. What color are you making your snake? I can't wait to see all of them. All right, so I'm gonna add the tongue, color it in. And if you need to pause the video to take your time, go for it. Okay, here is my snake tongue. All right, looks pretty good. Let's look back at the picture. What else am I missing? Oh, I forgot its nose. Need to add two little dots. There's its nose. <laughs> and now you can decorate it. So you can add stripes or different shapes or you can color it a special color. I'm gonna give mine a couple purple stripes to make it look a little different. So I'm gonna do the purple stripes. Stripes is an S blend word, stripes. Very good. I'm almost done with my snake. All right, here it is. Here is my snake. So you can either draw yours just like me 
or you can use the template I sent and you can print it out and color it um, or you can add different papers but I really just want you to make a snake in the shape of an S. So remember now that mine is all done let's get my markers out of the way I can use this snake to help me when I'm practicing my S blends. So if I wanted to say the word snake, because that's an S blend, I could trace my finger as I'm saying it, the S sound, snake. Let's, let's hear that again. You do it with me, snake. Very good, so use this as a tool at home to help you practice. So now I want you to take your finished product of your snake and I am going to practice some S blends with you. All right, our first word is going to be, let's see. Does anyone know what these are? These are skates. Let me see you use your snake. Remember, I gotta put this down for a second. Uh, trace our S sound, so snake. And at home, if you didn't really feel like making making the snake right now, you can also use your arm and run your finger down your arm. So snake as a reminder. So now we're gonna do skates. Skates. Let me hear it three times. Skates. 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 Very good. All right, let's see what our next word is. Hmm. What is this? It's a skirt. Very good. All right, let's use our snake. Skirt. Good job. Whoops, picked up two. It's a stool. All right, get your snake out. Stool. Very good. Look, it's another snake. This one is green. Snake. Your turn. Awesome, I loved hearing that nice clear S sound. I know some of you go on the school bus to go to school. Can you say school bus? All right, let's use our snake. School bus. Very good, boys and girls. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more for practice. This animal kind of smells. So you can say smelly, because it is a skunk. All right, let's hear it. This time I'm gonna use my arm. Ready, what animal was that? A skunk, skunk. Very good, good job. All right, let's do three more. This is a very colorful sweater. Something that you might wear when it's a little chilly out or cold. I'm wearing one right now, it's a little cold in my house. So, sweater, or you can use our snake. Sweater. Very good. All right, two more. This is a type of fruit. It is red. They're small. You're right. They are strawberries. Strawberries. Very good. All right, last one. You can find this little guy outside. Do you know what it is? What kind of animal? That's right, it is a squirrel. Or we can use our snake, squirrel. Very good. All right, boys and girls, I want you to keep practicing those S blends, okay? Use your snake at home now that you have it. And I'm excited, send me pictures. Me and Miss Amy pictures and let us see your snakes and see you practicing. All right, see you soon.